Joining us tonight, a group of men who once ran one of the state's largest airports faces criminal charges tonight for spending its money. A Fayette County grand jury indicted former Bluegrass Airport Executive Director Mike Gobb and three of his managers for spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on everything from movies and concert tickets to strip clubs. Tonight, Mark Kennedy spoke to Gobb about the charges. He's live at the airport with our top story at 11. Mark? Amber, when we confronted Mike Gobb in the driveway of his Lexington home tonight, he said he could not speak to us on camera but did so off camera and said he couldn't speak directly about the criminal charges at all, referring that to his attorney. But he did tell us he has not had a job since resigning here from the airport in January amidst a spending scandal. Nonetheless, he and three of his top managers that he worked with here at Bluegrass Airport face felony theft charges. It started in February when State Auditor Crit Llewellyn released this 256-page audit of how some at Bluegrass Airport spent nearly a million dollars in three years. The audit documents how the former executive director established a culture of wasteful spending that provided personal benefits for him and others. A Fayette County grand jury now calls that wasteful spending felony theft naming former executive director Mike Gobb, as well as three of his managers, John Rhodes, the former director of administration, John Kuhn, the airport's former director of operations, and John Sloan, the director of planning and development, all now charged with theft. I think it's a message that there, there are agencies that look out for the public trust. Attorney General Jack Conway and his office investigated the case and passed their findings on to the Fayette County Grand Jury, most of which likely came from Crit Llewellyn and her staffers finding thousands going to a Dallas, Texas strip club, another to a Northern Kentucky strip club, and some to a Las Vegas bar. The sheer arrogance of some of these purchases and expenditures <clears throat> for personal benefit. And some of that money coming from taxpayer dollars. Attorney General Jack Conway tonight wanting to reassure people state employees will not get away with it. It's important that the public have a sense of trust in how public dollars are expended. Telling me tonight his office will continue to look into this case and file further charges if need be. Gobb again telling me tonight at his Lexington home he has not held a job since resigning here in January but says his family is just making it through. Live at Bluegrass Airport, I'm Mark Kennedy, WKYT 27 News First. And all four men are scheduled to appear in court to answer to the charges next Friday.